All right, so the first thing you wanna do is get one of these Pi Drive Zero Raspberry Pi hats off of eBay. It's about $40 shipped. And then you want to go get yourself a Raspberry Pi Zero W with the pin header already soldered on there. Uh, this is about, I don't know, $30. Um, you can probably find it cheaper somewhere else, but I paid about that. And then you want to have a six pin uh, Commodore 64 serial cable. Um, this is like $11. So make sure you grab this stuff and, um, and a micro SD card. I'm currently using a two gig, but you can use whatever you'd like. Next, you're going to want to download the image that I copied off my SD card. I'm going to leave a link in the description to download. So basically, after downloading that, we're going to we're going to prepare the SD card. All right, once you have your SD card into your computer, make sure you format it to FAT32. It's simply a matter of right-clicking on the SD card drive format. Make sure this is set for FAT32. Quick format is fine, and then start that bitch. So the file that you downloaded off Mega Upload for me, it's going to be called uh, Pi Zero Image, which is a zip file. Just simply extract it. Once you extracted that file, you will see sp12pi0sdcard.img. We're gonna use a program to burn this image onto our SD card. Next, you're gonna wanna download Win32 Disk Imager. Um, once you have that installed, basically you're gonna click this blue folder, navigate to where the sp12pi0sdcard.img image file is located and then um, you want to make sure that under device uh, is the same drive letter where your SD card is located so once you confirm all of that then go ahead and hit right and you're gonna say yes so this is gonna take a minute let's wait for this to complete and I'll uh, get back to you Okay, now that the write was successful, uh, we can verify that uh, my SD card has all the necessary files. So as you can see, I formatted the SD card to FAT32, burned it with that program, and now that you can see the SD card is indeed populated uh, with all the necessary files. Inside the 1541 directory, you can see I uh, gave you guys five sound um, blank images for floppies and then five sequences uh, discs. So basically you're gonna be using these discs, so to speak, to save your sounds and sequences. Make sure that before you remove the SD card out of your SD card reader, right click on it and hit eject, otherwise you might corrupt stuff. So this is what the device looks like with the Pi hat on top of the Pi. Um, right over here, this is where you're going to insert that SD card. So just pop that bitch up in here. The Raspberry Pi is powered through micro USB somewhere over here. So there's two. They actually can be used. Uh, whichever you use, that will be used for power. Um, I'm using a power bank and um, basically this is how I'm going to be powering it. So now you can see, focus a bit, that it does boot up. Let me see if I can get uh, some visible text over here. There you go. So just to go over a few things, the button layout, uh, to my understanding, 
This button is to get out of a directory. This goes into a directory or folder. This is to go down. This is to go up. And then this is to select. So when you select, when you select a disk, so for example, I'm gonna select this. This is the button I'm gonna press. So now it's loading it in and basically this disk is inserted into the drive. Okay guys, so I have everything hooked up, the serial cables connected to the back of the ESP12 into the Pi Drive Zero. Um, and so I have already saved um, some sounds into one of the disks. So what I'm going to demonstrate is that on the SP12, I'm going to clear the memory so that way we know that there's nothing in here. So I'm just going to clear this and um, none of my sounds should be in here. So now at this point, uh, what we want to do is load um, a disk into the, the Pi drive. Okay, so I'm just going to use these buttons right here on the side to find um, sounds disk one. All right, so I found sounds disk one, and then um, I'm going to select it using the top button right here. So now you can see that that light right there on the left is, is green. That means it's loaded up. Okay, now that we have uh, the disk loaded onto the Pi drive, we're going to go to uh, cassette disk. And we're going to hit 2 for disk. And since I'm loading some sounds, I'm going to hit 5. 2 for disk, and then 5. And then uh, it says insert disk, and then press enter. And um, right now, it's, it's going to be reading the disk. And I'm going to be straight with you guys. This is not going to be any faster than the original Commodore 1541 drive. It's going to be the same speed. So it's going to take a while. I'm going to let this load and then come back. Also, I forgot to point out that if you max out all your memory on the SP12 with samples, then it's likely you're not going to be able to fit all that stuff on one disk. So once this is done, it's going to ask for inserting disk 2. We're going to have to go back into to this guy, uh, load disk 2 the same way we did disk 1, and um, let it know that it's, it's ready by hitting uh, yes. Okay, that took a few minutes to load. So now it's asking for disk 2. We're going to go to the drive now and uh, we're gonna load disk two. All right, so first you wanna hit the, uh, the enter key, which is this top one, and um, scroll down, and we wanna make sure we're, we're uh, selecting disk two. So we selected disk two, and then we're gonna hit enter. So now it's loading, and it's loaded. And now we're gonna say uh, yes, that it's ready. And it's gonna load that part. Okay, so it says it's done. Now, um, I did put these samples up on bank two. So let's see if they're on here. Okay. And as you can see, you know, I mean, it loaded my sounds back where I put it on on bank two. All right, so now if you want to save these sounds, basically we're gonna need to put a, di a different disc in. So I am going to hit enter and select, uh, let's say disc three. So I'm going to select disk 3, it's loading, and that red light went away so that means it's it's in the drive. So now um, 
basically we're gonna go back to the SP and we're gonna say cassette disc two two for save sounds so we're gonna hit two two hit enter and now it's gonna be writing all my sounds to to disc three and another thing I wanted to point out what this is is called a piazzo or piezo buzzer or speaker uh, basically this is supposed to simulate the sound of a floppy drive being written since we are using a Pi Zero, the firmware has not been updated to uh, support this version of the Pi. Originally, the Pi, uh, Raspberry Pis were, you know, Pi 3 and 3B, 3B plus or whatever. But I like the smaller footprint of this guy and um, we'll soon have the... Um, the firmware for this support. I mean, it, it doesn't really matter if this is on here or not. It just, it's just an, an audio cue. So disc one, saving the sounds has been filled up. Now we got to go to uh, disc four in this case. So um, I'm just going to simply select disc four if you can see it. It's in and uh, and now I should be able to continue the saving process all right so i just sequenced the shittiest drum pattern known to man and we're gonna save this just for you know educational purposes so uh we're gonna go over to the pie hat pie drive whatever you want to call it and uh basically uh we want to um we want to select a sequence disc so so this is a uh, sequence disc number one, and I am going to select it. And so now it's loaded into the drive. Uh, we're gonna go to cassette uh, or disc, and so that's gonna be two. And we're gonna we're gonna want to save a sequence. So then that will be two one. So we're gonna do two one. Insert disc. It's inserted. We're gonna hit enter. And it's going to save that shitty sequence that I just made right now. Oh, it's done. Damn, that was fast. All right, cool, cool, cool. Okay, so I guess just for testing purposes, um, we're going to, I guess, delete this shitty sequence I made uh, and then load it up. So uh, I, gu I guess we're going to say uh, delete uh, sequence one. And then so if I play it, I get that ugly ass fucking buzz noise. All right, so we're, we're gonna load that bitch up. So we're gonna say um, disc load sequence. So that's two and then three. So two, three, insert disc. That shit is inserted, bitch. All right, so we're gonna say enter. And so it's reading the disc. Oh, it's done. All right, let's see. Get out of here. And then boom, Shunny, what's up? That shit works, Shunny, what's up? That's that's ba that's basically the end of the video tutorial, whatever the fuck. This fucking piece of shit works right here, Holmes. What's up?